So this is a story about one time when I was in jail on suicide watch. And, uh, while I was on suicide watch, it was, uh, like something of the Monty Python movie where he says, first you must grab me one strawberry. Because all they gave you in suicide watch and super coop, pigeon coop, PC, super PC, whatever you want to call it, is a strawberry and a little piece of salad. They give you cigarettes and stuff now and now and then, but... And all you get is a baby gown to sleep on. You don't have anything else. And I wasn't even in the hole. I was in the suicide watch. And uh, that was at Quinny. And it sucked there. Um, that was after I read the Charles Manson book. And I thought maybe I was going to be on suicide watch for a lot longer. But I wasn't. I went up to Gen Pop after I was on suicide watch. Probably for me freestyling and stuff like that. Because uh, I was wrapped pretty good in the jail. And I didn't mind Suicide Watch that much. It was pretty peaceful there. It wasn't like segregation or anything like that. It was Suicide Watch, which is even worse than the whole. And I had a long beard like Charles Manson. It was dark. And uh, I liked the showers. The shower was... It got me feeling like a lot of nostalgia from the shampoo. And it, I would just wash my beard and wash my body and wash my long hair and... I didn't mind it that much at all. And it was just reminded me of Cassidy House and uh, that other program was at in Belleville. That was open custody. You could just walk away from that place if you wanted to. And uh, that's my story of jail. Thank you. Goodbye.